Hey friends, what's going on? My name's Squid, and I'm back with some more Pokemon stuff. Uh, today I got a pretty cool team. Uh, it's based on... Uh, <laughs> excuse me, I didn't mean to blow on the mic. It is based on Technician Hitmontop with my Punch Rock Slide, Triple Kick, and Bulk Up. Triple Kick I wanted to try because I've never ever seen this thing used. And it has base 10 power, boosted by Technician and Stab. Uh, I'm not running Adamant. I'm running Jolly. Uh, maybe I should just run Adamant. So I'll make that run Adamant, and uh, I will we'll see how it goes. I've used it before. It's not bad. It just it gets really crippled by Rocky Helmet. Uh, other than that, my wall core of Rhyperior and Mantine. Uh, Mantine covers Rhyperior beautifully, absolutely beautifully. Well, they they cover each other because. Mantine four times weak to electric, Rhyperior immune. Uh, weak to close combat, resist it. Four times weak to water, soaks it up. Uh, four times weak to grass, hits neutrally. Like they they cover each other really well. I'm running actually max defense bold on Mantine, so we can take those those fighting hits really well. And uh, there's. <laughs> they actually they work out really really well. The only thing that kind of stops it is Stealth Rocks. I don't have a spinner on this team, and also to take another grass hit, I do have Rotom Mo, who's actually running a Wise Glass just to bluff the the choice specs or a uh, choice Scarf, uh, Mega Bayonet because my my favorite Mega, and uh, one of my favorite Megas anyway. And I, I really like the Pursuit Shadow Sneak Willow with Destiny Destiny Bond set, and also I want to try Scarf Magneton. So I, I want to see how that works. So I'm gonna look for a, a battle. It's actually it's not it's not bad. I made a team a very long time ago, so uh, we'll see what this guy's got. All right, it's not bad. I see a lot of reckless embors. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna lead off at Rotom. So Stealth Rock is gonna be a little bit of a problem. Oh, thanks, friend. Good luck. Have fun. You too. Oh, there we go. Um, I just don't want the M board to be scarfed. I'm actually thinking I should probably lead. No, I think I'm going to lead with Mantine. As, as silly as that may seem, no, nope, not silly at all. But I also don't want to be, um, I, I don't want to be spored or sleep powdered. Knock off, that's fine. I just had wise glasses, so it's really not even relevant. So I'm just going to go for the willow, because I'd like to get residual on Tangrowth, because I think it's, I've never used Tangrowth. I should, I feel like I should use one. Kind of reminds me of Grimace from McDonald's. So, we'll see. Do a Tangler. I enjoy Tangler, but Tangler Roach is just, I don't know. I never chose to use it. So, Willow's going to Hiccafagrius. I figure, you know, let's just go for a Leaf Storm. There's really nothing stopping us from going for a Leaf Storm. That was a nice jump. Yeah, he's just going to Willow us back, which is going to do absolutely, that, that means nothing to us. And then I can just straight volt switch out here. I don't want any status on my walls. I was thinking about switching out to a. Uh, oh damn! All right. Um. I was thinking of switching out to Mantine, but I'm just gonna willow. If he's gonna leave Steelix in, unless he's gonna double switch back out to Kafagrius just to get. Uh, dude, look at you making plays. Look at you making plays. Well, Rotom is pretty much useless now, so I'm just gonna volt switch. Unless he's gonna switch back out. That's fine. Now I can just go literally into Rhyperior and uh, wall this. If he wants to put a superpower, I can set up a sub. That's not going to do much. Well, I can just go into Bayonet. Now, let me see. Is he banded? No. Tangrowth. You are AV. So I don't have to worry about you doing any kind of sleep powder. 
that you also aren't going to enjoy having any kind of will-o'-wisp. So you're just going to knock off, it's not going to do anything. Um, let's see, I can actually go into Manton, since I know that you are assault vested, I can go for an air cutter. Good game. Don't even care. Don't even care. I can just go straight for an air slash. If he wants to go into Pythagoras, take it. Don't mind it. That does some nice damage. And a flinch. So, uh, this is going to go down because we are going to be doing more than 36% when he's at 34. He does have the regenerator. Um, I don't want anything to be toxic, so I'm just going to go into Magneton. And I'm not going to go for... Got him. I am not going to go for the... Uh, the electric move. I'm going to go for try attack predicting. Actually, if it's going to be. Uh, I, I was just thinking, if I'm going to predict anything, predict the switch and go out in demand time. That was my thought, and I just didn't do it. So, demand time comes back out. Mega Steelix, Stealth Rocks. Um, and this guy's going to have. I don't think they're going to stay in, so I'm actually going to predict the switch and uh, go for an air slash. It just doesn't seem like he would risk a scald for a Mega Steelix. And he could switch back into the Alma Mola, because he seems to be very switch happy. And his team is not, oh my god, I over predicted. So I'm just going to go for a Willow here. Embor, Alamomola, I'm alright with that. A little residual, I hate that regenerator core, that shit sucks. Um, he does have toxic. So hopefully I could live one hit. Scald, eight, the crit, and Rotom's gonna go down to the burn. Hey. Um, you're burnt with. 40%. And I know Tri Attack is not going to be doing much. It did, it did 16%. I'm, I'm going to risk the Volt Switch. And the Tangrowth comes in. I'm okay with that. So now that will allow me I think I'm going to take advantage here. I'm going to go into hit on top. I'm going to try and make something out of this because I can go for a bulk up. Hopefully, hopefully I can make this happen. Pythagoras was going to have about 34. Hopefully. Hopefully Rock Slide. I don't know if Rock Slide can take it out. This is really nice defenses. This may have been a mistake. Oh, and a f oh my god, that's really lucky. We get a flinch. He lives on one. Rock Slide has to hit. So we got really lucky there with the flinch. That needs to hit. He has no ref no regenerator. On Kafagras. Thank God Kafagras doesn't have a regenerator. That's money. Which is good because we don't want to hit it anyway. And now from here, I could probably set up another, another bulk up. So that's 81. Embor's at 81. He can't touch us. We'll be able to beat Hitmonchan. We should be able to beat Al Mola. And we will be able to beat Mega Steelix. The only problem is... I, I just, I don't want to be toxic yet. That's, that's the issue. So 
So I'm actually just gonna go for I'm just gonna go for the try attack. In case he wants to bring the Steelix back out. Maybe we can get something on it. I'm not fishing for something. But I wouldn't mind getting something on it. Here comes the Steelix. Thirteen percent. I don't want to get hit with an earthquake. I'm just gonna switch into Manton. I think he's probably just gonna roar. Because there's no way that we're we wanna stay in. Is he gonna roar? Shit, alright. I'm about to just triple kick, see what happens. He might just keep roaring us around. 7, 13, and 19. So it actually does a really nice chunk. And then the Mega Bayonet, which I'm just gonna shadow sneak. So if he wants to switch out, yeah, it's fine. Go into the album mode. I don't have a problem with that. And now, I think he's going to expect me to switch into the Magneton. Predicting the Toxic, and I think he's going to go for Skull, where I can switch into Manton and get that water absorbed. What's up? Nope. Now you're going to wish. Um, now, is he going to switch into Steelix or Tangler? I'm just going to go for a Scald. I think he might predict me to go for Tangrove. Nope. Alright. He's just going to keep it for himself as he misses the Toxic. So now I'm going to go back into Magneton. I am. I'm just gonna go try attack again because if we can catch the uh, the Steelix, that's fine. Oh shit! I wasn't. All right. Honestly, I wasn't paying attention. Dude, fucking Albumola sucks. And I'll, I'll really, like, it blows. Alright. I hate freaking Alan Mola. That's crazy. Whenever I play RU offline, like not recording, it's not stally, but anytime I try to record it, it's like stally AF. So I'm just going to continue to air slash. There we go. Nice. Caught him. Alright, let's see. Because that's... Wow. I can't really even do anything with Mantine though. That's that's the worst part. So since he's burned, I'm gonna take advantage. And uh, actually, no, I can't even take advantage. Because he's a special attacker. So I'm just gonna have to go back into try attacks. And try and attack. I wish I had stab on it. I don't know how much it's gonna, how much it's gonna do. Alamo was annoying. Silix is just gonna keep walling me. I wish that was burnt. Eighty-one Embor. All right, cool. At least we got a, a burn. That's. I'm okay with that. I will gladly take a burn. Alright, I'm going to sacrifice Magneton here. Because I want this thing alive. So I can start setting up bulk ups. And bulk up is pretty much going to be my saving grace here. Just don't roar. I just don't want it to roar me.
anything but roar. All right, that's fine. I'll I'll gladly take a heavy slam. Just mock punch. Take this out. Get more leftovers recovery at plus one defense. Alamora. I'm gonna bulk up. He's probably gonna scald or he's gonna toxic me. I don't I hope it's not wish protect. It probably is. So now I'm on my time limit. I wanna see triple kick should do pretty well at plus two technician stab. The only thing is I really need to get rid of Alamola and Tangrowth. And skull, that's oh yeah, we're we're gonna get this. And if he wants to switch out and get regenerator, then someone's gonna have to keep hitting these triple kicks. Yes, yes a lot. Alright, so that regenerator booster's down. Oh, dude, it's gonna be a toss up. Hitmonchan. I need to mock punch. I don't know whose base is higher for speed. I think Hitmon tops is. Oh, nice. Not bad. And then I can clean that up with, with Shadow Sneak. The only thing is that superpower took away over 50% on my period. So I could Shadow Sneak this. Aloe Mole is going to be back up to 50 with the burn. But as long as I keep Bayonet around, he can't go for superpower. That's the problem. So if Embor comes in, because you can't go Flare Blitz 24, um, uh, that's going to be close. Earthquake, I don't know if we could take it, it's going to be close. Uh, nope, not enough, not enough, not enough. It wasn't bad for as slowly as that was. It wasn't too bad. It was almost freaking 50 turns. So I'm just going to debond. Go out with a bang because Skull was going to kill us anyway with the Alamomola. Yeah, not bad, not bad, not bad. Stolly ass team. G, 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 G. Alright, well, that one game was freaking like a half hour. Oh, good lord, that was, oh, man, that was long as hell. All right, well, I'm going to call it there. Um, I'll catch you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Hopefully we'll get a, a more interesting battle next time. But, uh, see you later. Bye.